Going, going, gone. Who doesn't love a home run derby at any level? The best home run hitters in all of minor league baseball all getting together tonight at Southwest University Park, including El Paso Chihuahuas infielder Ty France, for the uh, home run derby. Of course, El Paso, the site of the AAA All-Star Game on Wednesday. Looking to put on a show, and oh boy, they, they put on a show. First round action, it's Mike Ford of the Scranton Rail Riders advancing to the semifinals with 15 home runs. He ends up edging Brandon Barnes of the Columbus Clippers. Then things got interesting. How about Reno's Yosmani Tomas? Hit four home runs earlier this season in a single game. He hit 20 home runs to advance over Las Vegas's Jorge Mateo Tomas, hitting some big boy home runs out there. And then it's Travis De uh, Demerit representing the Gwinnett Stripers, getting past Scranton's Ryan McBroom. And then the home crowd came to life when El Paso Chihuahuas infielder Ty France stepped up to the plate. He advanced over Albuquerque's Roberto Ramos with 18 big flies. That's why they call him Big Fly France. So we go to the semis. Ford would get past uh, Demerit to get to the finals, and then it's that man Tomas. He was matched up against France, and unfortunately for our man France, Tomas would end up topping him by one home run, 20 to 19. And in the finals, Tomas, he just kept going and going. 19 home runs to take the crown, a total of 59 homers tonight for the Aces All-Star. KTSM 9's Colin Deaver is live at Southwest University Park. He has more with the winner. Absolutely, just an incredible night here at Southwest University Park. You know, we've all watched home run derbies from Major League Baseball on television, I think, and it's so fun to watch the when those players are really just hitting those home runs, how the crowd gets behind it. It really had a Major League atmosphere tonight at Southwest University Park, especially when Ty France was at the plate. The hometown crowd really got behind it, their hometown all-star. Of course, he hit 20 home runs in the, for that, or excuse me, 18 home runs in that first round. That second round, he came up just short of Yasmani Tomas with 19 to the 20. But of course, the night was all about Mr. Yasmani Tomas. He is the winner, and we have to say, Cody Decker, the recently retired former Chihuahua, he called that Yasmani Tomas would win this home run derby earlier tonight on KTSM News at 6 p.m. So we got to give credit to Cody right there. And Yasmani, really, he just put on a show, and that's what he came here to do, as you hear in this soundbite. It feels good, but I'm very happy. The competition was very good, but thank God I won. I think that I had a good season in the league, and I just try to get the best numbers possible. Thank God I was chosen for the home run derby. I came here only with the mindset to compete. Got to shout out our uh, photographer, Cesar Vasquez, for translating that Yasmani Tomas soundbite right there. And it was just, again, again, a fantastic night. Tomas wins it. That was Cody Decker's pick. And the fun is not over. Tomorrow they'll have media day for both the International League and the Pacific Coast League here at 3 and 4 p.m. And then the big show, of course, is on Wednesday here at Southwest University Park. The AAA All-Star Game gets underway at 7 p.m. We'll have all your coverage for, from that from Tuesday and Wednesday. For now, I will send it back to Andy in studio live at the AAA Home Run Derby at Southwest University Park. Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports.